animals, uh, animals will tell you everything. They, they, they look like a couple of lambs that don't want to go out. I made this feeder today in that corner. Oh, he's trying to nurse honey. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I see she's gaining weight. Yeah, look at how fluffy she is. You guys are going to be snow sheep. <laughs> so Ernie, just, uh, oh, it's about 9 o'clock at night here. Had a real busy day today. It snowed, so we're trying to catch up a little bit with everything. So I just fed this bale. It had, uh, it had six layers of plastic on it. It's not a bad spot on it. I don't know if the camera can really pick it out, but it's uh, it's probably about 70 or 80 percent of alpha. I would guess. Uh, very little grasses, 20 percent grasses in that. Extremely good stuff. You can see all the sheep just love it. It's really good hay, I think. Uh, we don't and we don't we don't feed any lick, lick blocks at all. Um, when I was a young guy, a child, uh, lick blocks were introduced to this country quite a bit. Uh, some people were using it, some people weren't. I thought I was missing the boat on that lick, on the lick, on the lick uh, blocks, or lick tanks, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I used them, uh, my cattle wouldn't even eat it. I mean, they barely looked at it. But uh, my neighbor that had extremely poor feed, and he did a really poor job on his animals. Uh, he couldn't keep enough in front of them. So, not saying that whatever it was, but I had no luck at all with it. We don't use it. Uh, these animals just love this alfalfa. It's alfalfa second cut. Uh, we have about uh, we have about three or four hundred bales of second cut, and then we actually have about three hundred bales of third cut alfalfa. So all the first cut hay is gone. We're feeding this. You can see animals uh, Animals will tell you everything. And you can see they're just loving it. No mold at all. Extremely good bale. Chop it down. That's all I got to say about that. We just didn't have very good luck with the lick blocks. Uh, the cattle just wouldn't touch them. And I'm going to guess the sheep aren't going to touch them either. Uh, just the hay is so good, they just don't need that that type of stuff. But uh, if it works for some farmers, it's a bonus. But I'm thinking it's not going to work here too well. And there they are. Pretty happy. I guess the Suffolk group here is not going to come in tonight, hopefully. We've had a pretty quiet day but lambing today for some reason. And I think the Suffolk group is good. But I don't trust this Dorset group. So when I go out here, this is uh, group looks good, but I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that you way in the back corner there. So before I leave the barn, I'm going to check up on her. Just rolled out some hay here. Yeah, the door the door is open, so there's a uh, just uh, just letting some uh, cold air come in the barn. Uh, to freshen up the barns a little bit. So that's what you see, that steam coming off the off the barn a little bit. So I got a few jugs to clean out here. And a few sheep to feed. And Lynn's bottle baby, and then I'll be moving on. So I'll talk to you shortly. <laughs> Lynn just called me. So Arnie and Lynn just called me and says, what's taking me so long in the barn? And then I told her I let these two lambs out. And Lynn says they uh, weren't supposed to go out yet. But I'm thinking they like it pretty good. Do they look like a couple of lambs that don't want to go out? So Lynn says I shouldn't have let them out yet, but they're going to spend the night out here, and I'm going to take a little slack for it, and these lambs are going to like it all night long. 
<laughs> I don't know. They look a little unhappy to me. <laughs> what are you doing, girls? <laughs> Funny, eh? We have a, we have a little. There's a, there's a little hole in the feeder right there. That just just the way it turned out. And every night, there's a lamb laying in that little hole for some stupid reason. Look, they keep going in there. It's like their own private little haven. I think these lambs look a little unhappy. Maybe I'll put them back in their little jug tonight. Now, these guys are probably run all night tonight. Anyways, gotta feed Lynn's little bottle, baby. And I gotta check everything up and I'm gonna call it a night, I guess. So stay tuned. If anything happens, I'll let you know. See that you there? That's called wool blind. She can't see nothing. Can you, girl? Well, all the stuff is reading now. Hey, baby buddy. Are you coming up, bub? Eh? Are you coming up? Hey, buddy. Here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you're not wool blind. You look like you're a little sad tonight. What's wrong, buddy? Shouldn't be in here. Okay. I'm going to shut the lights down. I think it's about 10 o'clock now. I'm kind of liking the night hours. I was a little... Every night it was a little burnt out, but that's because I run all day long, too. So, got you in the back corner there. You probably can't see her. Chewing her cod. But everybody looks good tonight. So, everybody got new bedding today. New hay. I guess, I guess this... I guess this this was the you that I was supposed to let out, but I wasn't listening correctly. But I'm a man; I can learn. So I guess I was supposed to let her out. Instead, I let these two guys out, these two girls, and I don't know. I'm thinking they're suffering. So I'm going to hear about that probably. But they're going to have a real good evening here. So yeah, that was a mistake. But I felt sorry for these guys. So they're in a pen for a few days. So that's, uh, that's the first feeder I made on the wall. It works okay, but I'm not liking that feeder. Because that, that, board, that board on top was kind of just in the way, dead space, I think. So that was my first feeder. Worked out pretty good. Wasn't really happy with it. And then I made this feeder today. I made this feeder today in that corner. And see, I removed the board on top. And just brought the board, the bars up a little higher. So it's actually, uh, they don't have to bend their heads to get into the feeder. Uh, that's not attached correctly to the wall yet because I don't have a proper hammer drill. I've got to get a hammer drill to put a leg in the wall there. But that's the one I think I'm going to make from now on. Yeah, some people might say that's a little overkill for a little creep pen. i got to make them all the way down the wall. But it only took me about an hour to make that. Half the metal in that uh, in that feeder is just scrap metal I have left over in the garage. So uh, one hour, not too bad. 
Every day, you maybe make one feeder, and I'll be done in a few days. But uh, I'm pretty, ha I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty happy with that, uh, because you see, the, the, you can't stand on the hay. And over here, you see, we we put the hay in the corner of the pen on the ground, and she eats through it, and she walks through it, and she the lamb lays in it, and then they don't eat the other half. So uh, that's probably a way cleaner system. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna shut these uh, lights off right now. There's Lynn's little bottle baby. And I guess I'm gonna call that a night. I think it's on 10, so I'll probably come back here around one o'clock. I'll just shut this light off for a second. So I do leave that center row of lights on. I think there's just way too many lambs um, to get stepped on or laid on, and I don't want that. So uh, the, that light stays on all night, and it's a little dark along the walls, which, which they're fine. So, anyways, I think I'll call that a night. I'm going to the house. I don't know what else I can do anymore. So uh, we'll call that an evening, and we'll talk to you later. Good morning everyone, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. I thought I'd welcome you out here because it's nice and quiet. Not a sound. Let's go into the barn. I think that'll change. Hi Maisie. Oh, they destroyed their bales. Hi Maisie, come here. Well, they should have thought about that, it's five bucks a bale. Come here, yeah. Oh, you got no place to sit, eh? I'll get some down today. I got so many oh, little things to do today. Clever. I'll get it down today. Look at her pretty face. Yeah, I see she's gaining weight. Yeah, look at how fluffy she is. Yeah, dorset traits. She should go in the out in the barn with everyone else, but then she would oh. miss her nighttime bottling. How many bottles are you feeding her per day? Three. Okay, well you know something. When push then when push comes to shove, I'll just, I'm just gonna have to walk out and feed her. So I wanted to get creep feed with the rest of them, so. Yeah, because she's uh, one of the older ones. Yeah. We know, that, we know this is going to happen anyhow. Maybe I can set a holder up and I can just feed, while I feed the sheep at night, she I can just slip the bottle. I know, so do I then. Yeah, you get held more than she does. I don't remember the last time I got held. Really, huh? Artie? What about this morning? No, you were just cons conserving the heat. <laughs> you were cold. On the camera to see how fluffy she is. Camera's right on you, babe. I don't want it on me. I want it on the little little Maisie. The camera on. It's all about you, your pink coveralls, and your red uh, bandana. Hi. Look at how nice you are. Are you done? You think that was enough? That was a, a lot. Zoom on her face. Zoom on her face. Oh, I gotta do the zoom thing. Technology. Oh, he has to learn zoom. Daughter? Got you and her, huh? No, do you got her? I got you. I don't want me. You got her? Yeah. Look at that cute. Hi. Would you like a, just, you got a few dribbles left. Want to finish off the dribbles? Little round ears on her, eh? Hi guys, I'll get you some your salt minerals. The land's falling you, babe. It was a quiet night last night. Everybody was taking a little hiatus. So Arnie was able to sleep a little more last night. But right now, this morning, we have a Suffolk ewe uh, from Gladiator's group. She's in labor right now, but uh, she hasn't started pushing yet. So we're going to head around and do chores and just keep our eye on her. Okay, we're out in the coveralls checking out the bigger kids. They're going to get a creep pen today.
Hi, you guys. One with attitude, I see. He came to see us again. Hi there. Oh, you got a little bit of attitude. Hi. Hi, guys. How you doing today? Are you liking the big pen? Oh, you, you, you are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, aren't you something special? You're looking pretty nice. Hi. We got another escapee today. Hopefully there's none in the white group. Are you gonna let him go? Where's your mom? Where's your mom? And all the white ones are looking good today too. Max, get out of there. Max, get out of there. The good thing is she's lying down now. We walked away and she had a lamb. Good girl. Good girl, mommy. Hi, mom. Hi. He's lovely. Hi. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Shall we give you a little wipe? Oh, Mom, he's lovely. He's lovely. Yes, he is. What a nice lamby you have. Hey? Eh? Oh, my goodness. So nice. And he's a little boy, too. Oh, he's really nice, Mom. He is. And he's just getting that his pen prepared, and we'll get him in the jug. He's another big boy. You're a gladiator. Yeah. Lots of milk on both sides. Just check that. She's a your red tag or an orange tag? I think you're an orange tag. You're a really old girl. He's opening his mouth as if mom's just going to put it, the nipple in his mouth. You have to get up for it, sweetheart. Yeah, that's because people are like that. There he goes. Shall we have a look at him? Mom. Oh, mom. That's right. He's get, lovely. Get with the program. It's the walk of fame, honey. You should be proud. See, you see the difference between a mom who's had lambs before and one who hasn't? They've done this before. They understand their lamb. have a pail of warm water waiting for them. You don't want to give them cold water after a baby. 
I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe not, but she's asking to see how she's asking. Yeah. There's another lamb. See if she's looking around. You would think she's got another lamb. Yeah. She knows uh, she has two. I didn't feel anything there. She has only one lamb. She washed that glove off her just now. Hi. But he's a humdinger. Pretty sure this is Ebony. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Could you guys get any cuter? Hi. What do you think? Welcome to the world, little one. You've got a really nice mom. And I can see you're hungry with those little lips. Hi. Arnie's just getting the iodine and the colostrum. Hi, Mom. He's lovely. Someone asked what a proud lamb is. A proud lamb who is one who just has a funny look on him like this, head right up, ready to take on the world. It's just a whole different attitude. He's very proud. She is proud to be a mom. Forty six F. She's an older girl. Born in two thousand eighteen. Her sire was Dexter, one of our good rams. Oh, really? Why is it doing that? Hang on that for one second, please. So in the time it took me to re re get her information on the reader and put her number on. Arnie was able to tooth feed them and dip them all at the same time. It's a very quick procedure. Oh, big long lamb. You did a good job, Mommy. Hey girls, you can do it. You guys are going to be snow sheep. Stay with their lambs. The Dorsets ran off, remember? That way, come on. Turn around. 
You should have a little pork away. Turn around. Oh, yes. That way. Hey. Oh, and they're going to go. Oh, they're going to go around, honestly. You, you go block them. Come on, you guys. Turn around. to believe we're going to put double the amount in here. This group will take a little longer to sort themselves out because there's so many of them. Looks like we might need to catch Cami again. Her udder is a little bit uneven. It's not too bad. Okay, just like last time, we're going to now take the dorsets and move them into this front pen because they're going to be going over to the coveralls next. Hi, would you like to come out here? You might like it. Hi there. Oh, you're so nice. Come on in here. This is a nice new pen. With that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one more in here, and then these guys are ready to go over to the coveral. Next thing we're gonna do is let this little rowdy crew here with my little famous jumping girls. They're gonna come out into their own pen now. You guys can go to a bigger pen. the walk of fame really short they're probably going to go to the group pen tomorrow because this dorset pen has now got 10 in next mom we marked her as half an udder and we got hers going now too we adopted her other lamb to someone else but i guess she might have been able to raise two no harm done We'll just take the cult comment off her, though. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Because she actually had triplets last year. Twins this year. Another one? One more. Here comes another girl. 
who passed the drug test. She's going to go out into the pen with her own lamb. And the lamb she adopted that she didn't even have to adopt. Good girl. <laughs> so they go for a nurse right away. Come on. Hi. Hi. You want to join the pen? Follow your mom. There she goes. You have to pay attention. There you go.